Jesus Christing heck, Skyfall Part 1 is a very bad episode of Doctor Who, even by Chris Chibnall's low standards. Going in to Season 12, all I really wanted to see was even a slight improvement from the deeply dull and uneventful Season 11. Just any improvement, however slight. But no, to some degree, I respect the sheer arrogance required not to change in any way, even under the pressure of the whole world shatting on your bewilderingly bad TV programme. Do you think Chibbers is a Tory plant sent to wear away our love for who, so we're less enraged when the bastards sell off the BBC? Okay, so the plot, as far as I can dredge the details from the depths of my brain, is these aliens with adaptive camel are killing spies and the dock and fam are brought in to deal with it by MI6. MI6 mentions that Unit and Torchwood are gone, and bits of dialogue like this make me fear for wee Mark Gattis' well-being. Wee Bastard loves Unit. Uh, that Dracula thing might keep him going, though. Stephen Fry plays the head of MI6. He's, he's called C, and it, it looks like he might be up for some sexism. Uh, he, like, he bellows like, all oh, the doctors are man, in a sort of like genial Melchit style performance as he greets Bradders, thinking like Bradders is the doctor, but the real doctor just rocks up and is like, no, I'm a woman now, and that's the end of the scene. It looks like Chibbers might be doing something with the creative potential of the doctor being a woman now, but nope, Fry gets shot through the neck, he just nopes out of the episode, and... I feel like I might be reading too much into it, but I feel like you could see Fry's eyes swivelling at the drivel he was acting out, and he just got the heck out of there. Why get Fry in, and then kill him off? I mean, like, it's a time travel show, so you could bring him back for some fun stuff set before Spyfall, but we all know Chibbers would never do anything that fun. So I, Fry dies, but not before dropping two leads for the fam to follow. One is some dude whose name I didn't hear which leads to the payoff of who he is later in the episode falling flat for me, and the other is evil Lenny Henry, owner of evil Facebook. Evil Facebook is such a yarda trying and failing to be relevant a plot that I can't be too angered by it. Plus, evil Facebook is called Vore, and I choose to believe that Chibbers is a Vore man and purposely chose to call it Vore. The idea that he doesn't know what Vore is, and no one spotted it at the script stage and took Chibbers aside for a quick word, doesn't fly in my particular house. Vore is the best thing about the episode. Vore is what I will remember Spyfall for. They did good Vore work here. Can't take that away from them. So Yaz and Ryan go check out what's up with Vor, and the Doc and Graham go chat with some guy in Australia who's been keeping tabs on aliens. The dude says they called him mad, despite Stephen Fry earlier in the episode saying he knew what unit was, and he knew what Torchwood was, and he knew that their job was specifically dealing with alien threats, and that they were real and not mad. So... I can't stress enough the some guy nature of this guy in Australia. Genuinely didn't get his name. I half blame the blandness of the episode and I half blame myself for not really caring about his side plot. Anyways, the team find out that the monsters this week are targeting multiple Earths and the Doctor is confused by this because she is confused when anything at all happens. The episode spells out that there are some kind of multiverse threat pretty blatantly on screen both from the info the team uncover via the spy shenanigans, and when they capture one of the aliens, he says point-blank they're after this universe, implying that there's other universes. But I look forward to next episode when it's played as a big revelation that the bandies are indeed multiverse threats. And yeah, at this point all the lads meet up and spy infiltrate evil Lenny Henry's birthday party because he's in league with the evil alien invaders, and I was actively in disbelief that there was more episode to go at this point. I've seen people praise the pace of Skyfall, and I'm sorry, but it was an absolute slog getting to the party. I've not even talked about the non-car chase at the start of the episode. Basically, it was mad dull. There's a party scene with some bad 13th Doctor jokes, though I did enjoy the scene where the Doctor confronts Lenny Henry and just asks him why and how he's being a baddie. I mean, I like the idea of the scene at least. She questions him, but Captain Vore just sort of tells her to F off and gets the last word in, all intimidating style, and I'm sorry, but Chippers just can't, or isn't, writing the Doctor in these scenes. 
It's been a running problem in Chivers Who that the Doctor cannot and does not defend herself. Things happen to her and she sort of rolls with them. People talk down to her constantly and she never gets a word in. No hero banter, no big speeches, nothing. I accept that all the Doctors are different and not all of them are mad lad heroes like 10 or 11 or all just act at you for 45 minutes like 12 but it just sucks that 13 gets the short end of the stick like this every time. The 13th Doctor gets told to go inside by a guard in Spyfall. A guard! And she does! I honestly couldn't tell you what the 13th Doctor's character is. The Doctor doesn't really do anything now. This is probably, like, for a problem from overcorrecting from Moffat's portrayal of the Doctor as an infallible hero god. It was defo time for change, but this is too far in the other direction. It's very 5th Doctor, but not in a good way. I will now talk about the big spoiler from this episode, so this is your final warning. The team chase down evil Lenny Henry to a plane, and it turns out the Randall alien info guy from earlier that's been cutting about with the fam is the master. Big whoop. Again, I've seen people's minds being blown by this, and I just don't feel it. The master is an element of Doctor Who that returns every three to five years, and as an old bastard, I feel like we just did this with Missy. All the also, the Master is just some guy. It's a solid idea, and I can see why they went this way, but it just leads me to not caring. The Master's master plan is to get everyone on a plane, and then have that plane explode? Thus getting one over on the Doctor. It's presented as a huge ha, I finally got you after all these years kind of a moment. But there's been plenty of times when Missy slashed the Master, got one up on 12. Really didn't like this, as it kind of assumes folk didn't watch those better seasons. Also, it's just a non sequitur. Hi, I'm the Master. Yes, I'm just some guy. Yes, there's a bomb. And I guess I'm in charge of these multiverse aliens? Die now, bye now. So yeah, bad episode. I have to stress, that's fine. There's plenty of bad episodes of Doctor Who. I wouldn't even say Spyfall is offensively bad. I certainly didn't make this video based on the badness of the episode alone. No, it was the people's reaction to it. People liked Spyfall. Well, no, that's wrong to say. You can like whatever you want. I certainly love objectively bad things. I made this vid because I saw people saying Spyfall was good. I can't fathom that. I don't see how humans could watch this with their human eyes and say anything about it was good, not the pacing, plot, or the characters. Like almost all of Chibber's Who, Spyfall is just dreadfully dull. I keep saying his Who has no ideas, and that remains true. Maybe the multiverse stuff counts. Maybe. But I am partial to a cheeky wee bit of multiverse stuff, so that's kind of my bias. Speculation for next time. I personally could see there being some legitimately good twists. There's enough info presented in Skyfall to say that the rando dude claiming to be the master is not the master. The episode sets up the Ed Files on the Doctor and he displayed some tissue compression antics that are pretty cliche for the master and could be learnt from files. Also wouldn't be all that surprised if the multiverse baddies are actually multiverse goodies. So far they've only killed spies and that's fine. The thing is, I don't expect Chibbers to subvert anything. That's not his M.O. Basic, boring, very standard Who. That's what he do. So I, in summary, 2 out of 10. All I really want from the rest of the series is any kind of improvement. Oh, and a Yaz episode. Give Yaz an episode, you cowards. Love you, bye.